Police released new surveillance pictures tonight in the murder investigation of Angie Barlow. Family reported the 23 year old missing last October, and police found her body this June on the city's northeast side after receiving a tip. 24 Hour News 8's V Win in the newsroom tonight with more on where these pictures came from. V. Yeah, Brick and Dave, the pictures came from surveillance video at an apartment complex where Angie Barlow was attending a private party. Her mother told me tonight she had never seen those pictures before until the other day on national television. It was here at Landmark Apartments on October 27th of last year when these cameras captured a blue car leaving the complex around 3.30 in the morning. It was definitely kind of eerie watching that. Christina Kramer says that blue car, a Pontiac G6, belonged to her daughter, Angie. Was she in either one of those cars? Was she alive at that time? Was she dead at that time? Um, it, it's all the unknown that just kind of raced through your head all at one time. Pictures from that surveillance video show Angie's blue car pulling out with a black car following right behind. Kramer says detectives couldn't really get much from that video. They couldn't see inside either one of the cars, um, so they really don't know who was driving either vehicle. Angie's car was later found on November 8th, about eight and a half miles away from that apartment complex. 24 Hour News 8 learned from court documents police took pictures and DNA swabs from her car. Then on June 21st, police found Angie's body in the brush near 42nd and Emerson. Why did our daughter have to die? What? You know, was it was it jealousy? Was it um, was she set up to be robbed? Was she set up to be sold? Kramer says she is desperate for answers and will continue the search until the person responsible is caught. She definitely deserves to be remembered and she deserves justice. And we're trying to do everything we can to get that. A memorial dedication for Angie Barlow and other victims of violence will take place next Thursday at Zion Hope Baptist Church in Indianapolis from 6 until 8 p.m. In the newsroom, V. Wynn, 24-Hour News 8.